question is from Connor Alex Smith. Can you explain how to take advantage of using angles when lifting? Yeah, good questions, Justin. Yeah, well, no. so you guys like this? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, is there any nutrition today? Nope, no, no. <laughs> zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what do you think about cheese? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was looking for the barbecue sauce yeah. question. It wasn't no, there. No, so, um, so angles. So, okay, I'm going to try and explain this uh, both in how you you would understand it in terms of results, but also how it works. So, results wise, here's the bottom line. Training body parts with different angles of pull, uh, different uh, periods of, of, of t or points of tension mm -hmm. is going to give you better results than if you just do the same thing all the time. That's just a fact. Okay, yeah. You ask any trainer or coach who's been working with people for a long time, that's just the bottom line. Now, how does it work? Well, if you imagine your bicep, we'll focus on that because that's an easy one to understand. If I'm doing a, a dumbbell standing dumbbell curl, so I have a free weight dumbbell, when I curl the dumbbell up, let's say it's a 35-pound dumbbell, I'm not directly opposing 35 pounds until my hand is about parallel to the ground. Right at the halfway point. Right, mm -hmm. because that's where the where I'm fighting gravity directly, right? From from there up, it's a little easier. And from the bottom to the midpoint, I'm pushing, you know, I'm kind of curling the 35 out and up. And once I get to that midpoint, now it's max tension. So my bicep is achieving max tension about halfway through. It's full contraction. And when you look at muscle fibers and the way they, they contract, they slide along each other and they attach in order to, as, as they're sliding, they, they, they attach to each other to, to create tension. Mm -hmm. So maximum tension in a dumbbell curl is in the midpoint of contraction. That's great. Now, what about a concentration curl? Now I'm bending over. Now I'm opposing gravity directly when my bicep is fully contracted. Now I get max tension at the squeeze. What about a preacher curl? Now the max tension is in the more stretched position. So that's one example of how angles will hit muscles differently, creating different points of tension. And, and that's why you get better right. results. And it's really the, the novelty of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, more than anything else, right? More than the, the degree of the angle or the specific exercise, it's the novelty of it. I mean, when you do something over and over that our bodies are they're adaptation machines yep. eventually they get adapted to whatever it is that you're doing and then the results the change that you get from that starts to diminish one of the easiest ways to keep that progress happening is by manipulating angles and things like that sure it's not that where where it gets wrong and where there's like all this debate argument is when people try and make the case that oh this is working the peak of the bicep or right. this is what makes the, the the round part of your bicep or this is the no. <laughs> uh, you know when they start saying that you're targeting a, here's the thing it's impossible to isolate one muscle okay our, our, bo our bodies all work together so you can't even isolate one muscle much less a part of a muscle. So that never happens. Like everything's working together. But you can target a muscle differently so that it seems new. This is different. I'm pulling from a different direction. Even though I've done a curl, a bicep curl here, I've done that a hundred times, doing it with my elbow up above my head and curling, it's still a curl. The bicep's still work. All of the bicep is still working, but because it's novel and it's different, a new stimulus and then that we get that new adaptation which is yeah. going to help you progress now biomechanics still applies so there are like like angles that you know aren't aren't very effective you know for certain muscle groups and they're not going to activate and stimulate that so like keeping that in mind in terms of you know keeping your your elbow for instance in in the same pathway but now i'm raising it up or i'm lowering it but i'm not bringing it way outside and flaring it out there's there's certain points of of where you know that makes sense like well I'm, yeah and, and the the rules of physiology and anatomy still apply it still applies right. the point and a, a, an easier example for somebody is um, a tricep push down if you do a tricep push down uh, on a cable machine and you do it with a triangle a rope a straight bar a reverse grip yeah. all the same you're the, yeah the, the the physics is still yeah. like I'm yes. pushing the elbow still in the yeah. same position yes. tension points are still in the position yeah. slightly different is it enough of a novel signal to 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 cause any change probably not yeah. right. probably not right. now here's the other thing too let's you may be thinking to yourself okay different points of tension well what if i just use a cable what if i use a cable which gives me the same weight throughout the whole range of motion do angles still matter they do because then it depends on what position the muscle is in when it's pulling or contracting. So now my elbow in front of me, side to me, uh, behind me, whether I'm pulling the, the weight with the, each of those positions, because the position is different, it's still considered novel. So angles are important. Now, here's where people get in trouble, and, and Justin kind of touched on this. 
people think, oh, this is great. I'm going to get crazy. I'm going to do all kinds of weird right. and crazy stuff. Yeah. Look, you could use we'll all the, sideways now. You could use all the angles you want for your quads, and, and all those angles aren't going to be as effective as squats. It's just straight up, you know, loaded barbell squats. You know, you could do all the angles in, in the world uh, for your shoulders, but you know, overhead shoulder press is going to be the king of all exercises. It's just one factor. Angles is one factor. It's an important one. But you don't want to get caught up because I've seen this where people go to the no, gym. No, this is a good point. This yeah. is a, this is really common right now in the you know the Instagram world we live in, where yeah. you know these popular bodybuilders, who what people fail to realize these amazing physiques that we follow and idolize, these these guys and girls they have they've covered all the bases. They're doing all the the major good lifts. They're consistent as shit. Their diet is dialed. They haven't taken a day off in five years. And then you see him do like a sideways chest press on a hammer strength machine. And you think, oh my God, he looks this way. He's doing that. I should be doing this also, or I'm going to incorporate that. Now he can get away with doing a, a lesser valuable exercise because he's doing so much other stuff. And that's where you got to be careful is where you're at in your lifting career. If you know, do not replace a sideways chest press uh, for your your barbell bench press, I mean, get your get your good compound big lifts and be consistent. Get great at those. See progress in all those. Yeah, if you're training six seven days in the gym and you've been lifting for years and years and you want to get creative and add different uh, exercise in there, th then there's some value to that. But don't don't do that. Uh, you know, in to replace something that has got a much higher value. Yeah, and yeah. and it's you know I know it can be confusing. You know, if you're if you're listening, you're like, gosh, there's so many exercises to pick from. There's so many different angles, so many different ways to alter tension. Um, and I get that. It is very complicated and there is a hierarchy of exercises and, and there is a way to combine different tension points to give you better results. If it's complicated or too complicated for it and you want the, the, the guesswork taken out, then just follow a, an established program. I mean, we obviously have created a lot of really good programs. And so we've done that, right? We've done that yeah. for you. We've plugged in the right exercise, the right combinations to take advantage of all these different factors.